This is question number 39 and we are told a car traveled 288 kilometers an average speed of 96 kilometers per hour. On the return journey, the average speed was reduced to 72 kilometers per hour. What was the average speed for the whole journey? Now, uh, we know that uh, we need to know the time the car took to, to for the for going and the time it took for returning the time journey so time we can say that time one is equals to uh, distance over speed so the di distance here is 288 this one and the speed was 96 so you divide by 96 and when you divide this uh, you can simplify by 4 you get 2 uh, 2 4 by 4 you get 2 4 by 4 you get 7 2 uh, by 24 you get 1 you get 3 so you get 3 hours uh, time 2 that is for return journey the distance was the same so it is 288 you divide by speed of 72 72 and this we can uh, this is you can divide uh, by uh, we can say by let's say by 4 it is 1 8 by 4 we got uh, 7 2 uh, by by 18 it is 1 by 18 it is 4 so this one is 4 hours now total time t is equals to t1 plus t2 which is equals to 3 plus 4 is equals to 7 hours now the total journey took seven seven hours so we, we now calculate the uh, average speed average speed is equals to uh, distance over time what is distance distance is 288 uh, plus 288 you divide by time which is seven this will give you a total of uh, when you add this you should get 576 you divide by uh, 7 so if you divide 576 uh, you divide by 7 you get this is 8 for 56 56 uh, so this is 1 6 this will give you 2 for 14 uh, you get 2 so we have remainder 2 so we can say it is 82 and 2 over 7 and this is speed so it is kilometers per hour so that would have been if they had uh, the, the car had traveled for at a constant speed of uh, 82 that would have been the average speed if you check the answers provided c is the correct answer so that is how you answer that question so you must know how to get time how to get speed and uh, that is very important